Mimi sitaki kumgoja hapa. Toka ile mwaka 2023. Hapa. Eh hapo hapo. Ni kama nini? Eh ya Melan. Mzee anataka. Inatafuta picha ya TV. Siwezi mind. I know Kenyans are anxious, anxious because of the uh, prices of petroleum uh, that have gone high, the fuel prices that have gone high all over the world. As a matter of fact, our country has tried because through the G2G arrangement, we have been able to manage the cost of the petroleum products. This increase that has spiked from today is as a result of a spike globally. As a nation and as a government, we've just come in, inherited a very complicated and difficult uh, economic and financial situation. But that is the reason why governments are elected. And the president has not slept. He has done everything possible. The Ministry of uh, Petroleum, uh, Energy and Petroleum, and the CS has been uh, to many trips out of the country to work on the G2G program with the governments whose countries are supplying uh, petroleum to make sure that we continue reducing this product. The best thing we can do at the moment is to make sure that to mitigate the impact of the price spike in the petroleum side is to subsidize our farmers. And as the president has done, he has already subsidized production. We do not want to go back to the old days of subsidizing big men who do not transfer the benefit to the farmers or to the people or to the hustlers. We want to appreciate the government for reducing fertilizer prices to 2,500 and that is the kind of intervention we can do to cushion our farmers and our people from high prices of uh, food products as a result of high prices of fuel. And this subsidy program in the agriculture sector will make sure that the production that is there now is going to make a big difference. I want to thank also the Ministry of Agriculture because they are working very hard and the PS is here and, is, and the CS, my colleague, are working very hard to procure dryers to make sure that the upcoming rains do not destroy the crops that are the bumper harvest that we have achieved as a result of subsidizing right. In the past, we have been subsidizing wrong, subsidizing people who are not able to transfer benefit to the Mwananchi. Now the government has subsidized the right by subsidizing producers who are the farmers. Now that we have a bumper harvest over 44 million bucks, 90 kilogram bucks of maize, which is a record high, it is important that we continue that program and support the Minister of Agriculture who are acquiring the dryers and we need the support of county government to work together to make sure that none of our grains is going to be wasted as a result of the upcoming rains so that our farmers and our people of the country can continue enjoying the benefit that come with the production that has been high. Kwa hivyo mimi na shukuru sana.